In this screencast, I'm going to show you a strategy for finding memory leaks. JProfile has a sample session called Animated Bezier Curve Demo that uh, allows you to intentionally leak memory. I'm going to start that sample session now. Show you the application window. And here you see a checkbox labeled Leak Memory. And once you click that checkbox, the application starts creating objects that will not be garbage collected. In the VM heap telemetry view for an application of this kind, we would expect the Java heap usage to remain constant, apart from those wiggles you see here, which are temporary objects being created and garbage collected. But in the long run, the Java heap usage uh, should have a constant baseline. What we see here is an upward trend, and that upward trend comes from the memory leak. And to see which objects are responsible for this memory leak, we go to the dynamic memory views, here to the recorded objects view, and we click on the mark current button in the toolbar. And that toolbar button gives us a difference column, and the difference column will, will, will show us how many objects have been created uh, since the moment in time that we click that button, minus the objects that have been garbage collected. And we see that there's a cluster of classes right here at the top which is responsible for the memory leak. And with the most high level class in this cluster, we, we go to the heap walker and activate the reference view. And here we can look for the reasons why those objects uh, are not garbage collected. We right-click the object, select Show Paths to GC Root, and here we go. There's a chain of references that leads right to the main class, and from here we have reference to a to a map ca called Leak Map, it has been intentionally named like that, and that's the source of the memory leak. Another way to confirm this is to look at all the objects in the heap snapshot and activate the biggest objects view. And here we see that the main class itself is by far the biggest, biggest object. And when we open the dominator tree of all retained objects, we see that uh, immediately uh, there's a reference to this leak map which holds a table of hash map entries and in turn holding a lot of small objects. We can select those small objects that are trapped in this hash map with this action, use retained items, and look at the classes that are in there. And again, we see the same classes that we saw in the dynamic memory view views. Another useful piece of information is where have those objects been allocated? Where have they actually been created? And again, we'll look at the general path class, select all those objects, and go to the accumulated allocation tree. And here we can see stack trace information of where these objects have been created. We can show the source code. And with this information, you can open your IDE and start fixing the memory leak.